Bye bye guy. Hi, I'm Tessa. And I'm Olivia. And welcome to Underdog Approved. In Underdog Approved, we judge movies, TV shows, and other stories on how they represent minorities, women, LGBT characters, and all underdogs. Then we give the story a score and our underdog rating. Today, we're going to talk about the movie Love, Simon. Love, Simon is a movie about a teenage boy who is gay but hasn't come out to anyone yet. And he begins emailing anonymously with this other boy who's also in the closet. And it's advertised as a story that's inclusive and unique, but we found some issues with it. <laughs> We're not sure if this movie passed the Bechdel test. Yeah. I think technically there may have been a conversation between Simon's mother and his sister about her cooking. It's 2018, people. <clears throat> it should pass the Bechdel test. Besides the girls in Simon's family, the main female characters were his two friends, who were both there to be in relationships. It was their whole identity. Abby. 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 Abby was a main character in the movie. One of Simon's friends. There was at least three guys who had crushes on Abby. Abby was kind of like this pretty, talented, interesting girl, and all of the guys wanting to be with her was very important to the plot. What Abby wanted, or who Abby wanted to be with, was very irrelevant. Very irrelevant. The music teacher was fantastic. She was so funny. I loved she her. She was my favorite character in the whole Same. movie. Yeah. There were people of color like more than you usually see. And then there was a black Jewish kid. Also, he was gay. Mm-hmm. He's probably the most underdog character in this whole movie. And he's like never on screen. Which means you didn't really get any development with him. None. No, you didn't see much character development from anyone except for Freaking Simon. Simon. Yeah. And it was it's a movie about him, but like there were four LGBT characters in this movie. All of them were men. There was an opportunity to have an LGBT woman and they didn't do it. I'm straight. Three of them were gay guys and one of them was a bi guy. All of the relevance around him being bisexual was just humor. There's no texting in the halls, dude. Come on, I can't have all my students tendering up. Right. That's my department. <laughs> and it was humor because he was bi. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't bi, they wouldn't have made any jokes. It was really centered around the younger gay guys. Only one of them was a stereotype, which is cool. The main thing we feel about Love, Simon is we can't place a lot of hate up toward it. It, but it had, like, good intentions, I feel like. It was just another movie about a gay white kid. It seemed like they were trying to make it like any other teen movie except the kid's gay. But then the whole movie was centered around the fact that he's gay, so it's, like, point totally out the window. Every poster, every sign, every tagline they used to advertise Love, Simon was a joke about being gay. Sure, it wasn't blatantly offensive or mean, but it made being gay a gimmick. Were we supposed to look at these jokes and laugh because it's funny, because he's gay? Simon's gay, he's not different, he's not special, and he's certainly not a gimmick. The most interesting thing I found was another line they used to advertise this movie is everyone deserves their own love story. We at Underdog definitely agree, but this movie wasn't that. The romance in the movie was very, very irrelevant. It was another coming out movie. Why can't there just be a movie where there's a kid who's gay and who's in a relationship and that's not the point of the movie? It's yeah. just what it is, mm -hmm. like every other movie with two straight people. Mind blowing. Yeah, I know. So we give this movie a 33, which is just barely Underdog, underdog approved. approved. If you think we missed anything, or you have your own opinions, or there's any other movies or shows you want to see us talk about, comment below. Yeah! Well, hey there! It's Zach. Thanks for watching whatever video that was. Uh, while you're here, why don't you hit the like button and leave a comment down below. But be careful, because I'm a writer and I will give each comment a letter grade based on spelling, grammar, sentence structure, creativity, and storytelling. And if you want more of this fresh hot content served straight up to you, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss an upload.